In this section, we are going to talk about scanning and auditing web servers with Nmap. Web servers are one of the most common means of access for attackers in every network. We will be using Nmap to check for web server misconfigurations and common vulnerabilities, find interesting points of entry, and exploit web applications. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to check for some common misconfigurations, such as open HTTP methods, open proxies, and user directories. We are first going to do a very fast scan of our local network for open web servers, scanning for both ports 80 and 443, and using the option Open, so that Nmap only prints the open ports, if we hadn't specified the open option, Nmap would have also printed that live hosts on the network that have their ports 80 and 443 filtered or closed. We also specified the minus SV option to perform version detection against them so that we get a better idea of what we are up against. We found two Apache web servers one of them seems to be a legacy version, being 2.2.8. Now let's scan for some common web server misconfigurations, such as open HTTP methods. We are going to use Nmap's NSC scripts for this job. NSC, the Nmap scripting engine, is one of Nmap's most powerful and flexible features, and it lets users write simple scripts to automate a wide variety of networking tasks. We will be talking more about NSC script later in the course. For this scan, we are using the script called HTTP methods, which will be sending an HTTP options request to the web server to list potentially risky methods. Potentially risky methods are anything except get, head, options and post, the put and delete methods, for example, allow a client to create and modify files on the web server, while the trace method can be used to mount an attack known as cross-site tracing. Now we are going to be more aggressive by specifying the script arguments to retest all HTTP methods. This will make Nmap do a request for each individual method and show the response code. However, this might make the script unsafe because if methods like delete are implemented and executed on the web server, they might actually delete content on it. There is another HTTP method called connect, which allows a client to use the web server as a proxy. However, not supporting the connect method does not mean that the web server cannot still be used as a proxy using other ways. Let's use the script HTTP open proxy to find potential proxies on the web servers. We are also scanning for port 8080 in this case, which is a common port for proxies. As we can see, Nmap found open proxies and they were on port 80 and 8080 for this server and port 80 for this one. The script attempted to connect to google.com using the HTTP methods head, get and connect if supported. An efficient way to find open proxies on the internet is to do a random host scan using the HTTP open proxy script and change the default HTTP user agent to something that looks legitimate. Make sure you have permission to use any of these found proxies, however. Some of them might be the result of misconfiguration. Nmop is now doing script scan and we already have the results. It did find some open proxies, but apparently the HTTP open proxy script failed to find any really open proxies. We are going to test another common configuration that might give us interesting leads into the web server. 
we are executing the HTTP user dir enumeration script, which tries to find if the Apache user dir module is enabled by brute forcing usernames. Nmap did find an interesting lead for a potential user directory, which we are going to check out using a web browser. Indeed, the test user directory is there, and there is an interesting file of what seems to be a backup of a database. The other server's test directory, though, doesn't seem to have anything interesting. By default, the username that the script tries are found in the username list file. But you can change it using the user dears dot users option. You can also find more information about all the NSC scripts supported by Nmap in the official page nmap.org. In this video, we learned how to list HTTP methods, find open proxies, and other common web server misconfigurations.